What's going on YouTube? Username Kite562 here with another episode review of Tentacle Tales of Terror, and this is episode 4, Dagon. Now, if you enjoyed these audio reviews of mine, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed these episodes. Again, these episodes will appear every Tuesday at 4 p.m. at a weekly basis to the best of my ability. I am only one narrator, so sit back and relax and listen to what I have to say about Dagon by H.P. Lovecraft. Now, the plot of Dagon is an American who becomes a prisoner of war is content with ending their life after being held prisoner for so long. Now, having escaped with nothing but the vast blue of the sea to look at, the escaped soldier drifts off to sleep. Though, one might well imagine that first sensation would be of wonder at so prodigious and unexpected transformation of scenery, I was in reality more horrified than astonished, for there was in the air and in the rotting soil a sinister quality chilled me to my core, Dagon, page 26, and this has to be one of my many favorite quotes from this story, so... Again, our main protagonist is also a morphine addict, so there's that fun little detail there. So, I have to say, the story of Dagon captures the fear of being alone. In an unfamiliar land, the protagonist finds themselves in. They also discover strange monoliths of sea-like idols of unspeakable terror. Now, this monolith is white in question, just white, marble, whatever you want to call it. And I just have to say the atmosphere within this story was really solid with itself. So, again, continuing on with my notes, the strange land itself reeks of dead sea life surrounding our protagonist. They don't know what's out there within the darkness of this new unexplored land of mysterious death and decay. So, another quote that I found interesting is that I dream of a day when they may rise above the billows to drag down in their reeking talons the remnants of puny, war-exhausted mankind, of a day when the land shall sink and the dark ocean floor shall ascend, a mist universal pandemonium, Dagon, page 29. So, I have to say... This really captures the fear of the sea and what's unknown there, and lo and behold, H.P. Lovecraft is afraid of the sea or the ocean in general, so I just thought that was really intriguing how Dagon really captured this fear of Mr. Lovecraft's at the time. I mean, what is down there under the sea? We don't know. I mean, there's anglerfish there, so those are pretty terrifying, in my opinion. I mean, there's a lot of unexpected horrors in there that we don't know about under the sea. We haven't even probably touched the the bottom of the sea floor in general. So anyway, back to the review. So it turns out according to the protagonist, questions a ethnologist about a Philistine legend, Dagon, the fish god. Now could these weird creatures scribbled onto that monolith monolith or carved on that monolith could have been worshippers of Dagon? Who knows? Could this unfamiliar land be something that the Dagon's worshippers go to to give sea life sacrifices to them? Again, who knows? So, the next point. Had this man crossed into an unknown land struck by a mysterious plague, or was it an actual place where an unknown god of the sea was worshipped secretly by fish people of an unknown origin? Who may know? So I have to say, I really enjoyed this story and how this story expanded the fear of exploring in an unknown land. Topped with the nightmares of being a prisoner of war by the Germans of the time. Again, I think this story took place in World War II at the time. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments. So, finally, this story felt like an expanded version of The Beast in the Cave with extra layers of psychological terror. I mean, you're stranded within the middle of a dark land and you don't know what's out there, or who or what's watching you. But that's what I just really enjoyed about Dagon. Like, it was a better, more fleshed-out version of The Beast in the cave. So anyway, this is Kite562 signing out, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Leave a like, comment, what's your favorite HP Lovecraft story? Let me know down in the comments. Again, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel. This is Kite562 signing out, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Later.